Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve my flawless foundation routine and how I keep my face looking flawless throughout the entire day. So let's jump straight into it. The biggest tip to creating a flawless finish is the base. So if you have the base right, you've practically done half the work for yourself. Some people wake up and start applying their foundation without having prepped their skin and this is when the skin can go dry or oily depending on your skin type throughout the day. So prepping the skin is an absolute must, especially if you want your makeup to stay long lasting throughout the entire day. So the first thing I like to do before applying my makeup is to cleanse and tone. So for cleanser I like to use this Kind to Skin Purifying Lotion by Simple. What I like to do is get a tiny amount on a cotton pad and... It comes out. I squeeze a tiny amount on there and I will just work that onto my face. It's really nice and cool and really soothing as well. It's super important to keep your skin clean and this cleanser works perfectly for my dry skin because it's not too harsh and I find that this particular cleanser feels like I'm moisturizing the skin rather than stripping it dry. Next I'm going in with this Kind to Skin Soothing Facial Toner, also by Simple. And basically again, I'm just taking another cotton wool and my toner and I'm just pouring it on. And toning the skin will just basically restore your pH balance so it removes any dirt and oils and it really helps keep the skin looking and feeling super super fresh. Try to cleanse and tone twice a day, especially in the evening where you've been wearing makeup on the entire day. I know running a makeup wipe across the face is an easy option and it gets the job done, but you'll be surprised at how much makeup and debris that is left on the face. It basically ends up blocking the pores and causing pimples, so you definitely want to make sure all that makeup is off at the end of the day. Next I like to apply an oil on my face, so I either use the Bio Oil which helps with hyperpigmentation on my face and it also helps to create a really nice dewy finish as well which is what I really like. Or sometimes I'll use the Oils of Life by The Body Shop which I really really love. It doesn't appear too oily so if you have oily skin but you want to kind of rejuvenate your skin without having too much oil in your face then I definitely recommend this one. For this tutorial I'm going to go in with my Bio Oil just because as it is kind of wintry at the moment and very cold outside my skin it has been super dry so I'm going to go in with this bio oil and what I like to do is kind of heat the product in between my fingers just to warm it up a little bit and then I kind of just pat it into my face And patting the oil into my skin like this just helps prevent me from looking too oily but also helps the skin absorb the oil as well And it's kind of like a mini face massage, which is quite nice. So once the oil is nice and absorbed into the skin, I like to go ahead and moisturize. And for moisturizer, I like to use either my Ember Elise Moisturizing Cream or my Pond's Cold Cream. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Ember Elise Cream. And I'm just going to take a small amount on the back of my hand. And that amount is enough to cover up my face. It does look very thick and it is very, very creamy but it applies really, really lightweight on the skin, which I absolutely love. And this is actually a really good cream. It's actually quite well known in the makeup industry by a lot of makeup artists. They actually really like this cream and recommend it. As you can see, my skin looks super hydrated and so nice and glowy. So now that my skin is nice and moisturized, I am going to be applying a primer. And what the primer does is helps the foundation adhere to the skin. And thanks to Nikki Tutorials, I am going to be using this Nivea Men's Post Shading Balm. This product has glycerin in it, so it really helps the foundation really stick to the skin. And if you want to see a first impressions tutorial on this product, then I'll leave the link down below so don't forget to check that out. So again I'm just going to take a tiny amount and just work that onto my skin. Mm -hmm. 
This is made for sensitive skin types, so if you do have sensitive or dry skin, then it will really work wonders for you. Now I wait for my primer to get slightly tacky before moving on to my next step. So I have hyperpigmentation on some of the areas around my face. Now hyperpigmentation is effectively a discoloration in the skin caused by an overproduction of a skin pigment called melanin and this is caused by either sun damage if you've had too much exposure to the face by the sun but it's also hereditary as well and it's fairly common in medium to dark skin tones. To reduce the appearance of my hyperpigmentations around my face and my dark circles under my eyes I am going to be colour correcting and the reason why I colour correct is because if I apply my concealer and my foundation I would end up looking grey in the areas that I have dullness so around here I would look really grey and under my eyes as well so that's the reason why I colour correct. So to colour correct I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Dark Peach Colour Corrector and I'm just going to be applying that underneath my eyes and this will really help brighten the under eye area. And I'm just using a patting motion using my ring finger and working the product into my under eye. And you can already see a difference between the two eyes. This one looks a lot brighter than this one. Now for the rest of the hyperpigmented areas, I'm going to be going in with this LA Girl Pro Concealer in Orange. And the reason why I like to use this particular concealer on the rest of my face is because it really helps to neutralise the dullness around my face. So if I use the Bobbi Brown Corrector, it will end up brightening the areas and I don't want that. I want to basically neutralise the dullness. I always look really strange when I do this part. And again, I'm just kind of blending that out using my ring finger. Now that the skin is prepped and corrected, we can go ahead and apply our foundation. And the one that I like to use is this Bobbi Brown Skin Finish Foundation, and I'm in the shade Honey. I really love using the Beauty Blender when applying foundation or concealer because I find that it really helps blend the product into the face really nicely and it helps create that flawless airbrushed effect. And it also helps kind of take away any excess product so you don't end up looking too cakey. For concealer, I like to go for something that's a little bit full coverage but also looks like skin. And I like to highlight with my concealer as well, so I like to go a few shades lighter than my actual skin tone. So I love using this Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer. So what I like to do is draw an upside down triangle under my eyes. And this really helps lift the face and helps create the illusion that you have higher cheekbones. And it also helps brighten this entire area up as well. And that will just kind of make you appear more awake. Also, as I mentioned earlier, I like to highlight. So I like to take the concealer down the middle of my forehead, as well as my chin and my cupid's bow. And slightly on the tip of my nose here as well. And then I just like to blend that all out using my Beauty Blender. And you can see here how it's really helped lift my face up and it's really created that nice kind of defined cheekbone. Now 
at this point if you have really oily skin then you would go ahead and powder your entire face and I would recommend using a mineralized powder something like the MAC mineralized powder but because I have quite dry skin, I only like to set my under eye areas because otherwise my under eye areas will crazily crease. So to set my under eye areas, I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So I've just finished doing my eye makeup off camera but I'll leave all the product details in the description bar below but as you can see I've kept it very very simple just because I wanted the attention to be on the face rather than the eyes in this tutorial so I've kept it very minimal. Now a flawless face in my books isn't complete without some bronzer, highlighter and contour so I'm going to be using this palette by Sleek and I'm going to be using the contour shade and the bronzer just to warm up my face a little bit and bring my features out. So I'm taking this matte brown shade first and just kind of contouring the hollows of my cheeks. Now this bronzer will just add some warmth back into my face. Now for blush I'm going ahead and applying my Milani Luminoso blusher and I'm just applying the blusher on the apples of my cheeks. What I really like about this blusher is that although it's very sheer and very subtle, it brings out a very healthy inner glow and makes your face look really nice and radiant. For highlight I'm going to be using this stunning and my all time favourite highlighter and this one is Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill and I'm basically just going to take that on the high points of my face, so on my cheekbones and look how nice that highlight is, I love it it's so pigmented I'm also going to apply some on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose as well, and the tip of my nose. On my chin and my cupid's bow. I have already also applied my lipstick and I used a combination of Max Twig and Chatterbox. So now that we have completed our entire face, the final step is that you want it to last literally forever if you could. So you want to set it with a setting spray and the two that I like to set my face with is either the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and now this one is amazing for if you're going out from the day to the evening because this literally helps your makeup last forever. It is so 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 good, I can't recommend it enough. And then the other one that I like to also set my face with is this MAC Fix Plus Spray. This particular setting spray gives you a really nice dewy finish so if you're looking for that nice dewy glow then this will help you achieve that but it also helps give life to your face as well so if you're really tired one morning then you can definitely use this before you apply your makeup as well because this works a treat so for this tutorial I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just because I don't want to look any more dubia than I do already and what I like to do is shake the bottle first and kind of go in an up and down motion with my mouth closed obviously and then I also like to go in a crisscross and that will basically just help set everything in nicely together and make it look super 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 flawless
And these are basically all the steps that I followed to create my flawless face makeup. If you found this tutorial useful then please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also share this with your friends and family if you think that they would enjoy it too. And if you'd like me to film anything in particular then leave your suggestions in the comments section down below and I'll definitely film those for you. But for now don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Mira. Mimi P and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye